Hi, today we will discuss about water balance in body and how this water balance causes uh, restoration of blood pressure. We all know if there is decrease in water level in body, it may lead to dehydration, it may lead to uh, hypotension that is a decrease in blood pressure. There are reasons behind decrease in water level. The main reasons are dehydration, loss of water by many reasons, hemorrhage, excessive sweating or deficiency of ions like sodium. And this leads to decrease in blood plasma, blood volume or body fluid volume is decreased. Ultimately, decrease in blood pressure is observed. How body responds quickly to restore decreased blood pressure? There are various types of neurosecretory cells or there are neurons in hypothalamus which are called osmoreceptors. When these osmoreceptors sense decrease in blood level or decrease in water level, they, in, they, they activate thirst center in the brain. At the same time, they activate the juxtaglomerular cells of the kidney to release renin, the enzyme renin. <coughs> Decreased blood flow to kidney also causes secretion of renin from juxtaglomerular cells. How this renin causes restoration of blood? Renin is an, is an enzyme which acts on angiotensinogen which is a plasma protein made by liver. Angiotensinogen is changes into angiotensin 1 in presence of renin. Angiotensin 1 is inactive. It rapidly becomes active in the form of angiotensin 2 in presence of angiotensin converting enzyme. Angiotensin converting enzyme is released by lungs uh, besides other organs of the body. Angiotensin 2 is a potent vasoconstrictor. It leads to decrease in diameter or the lumen of blood vessels which shoots off blood pressure immediately through a mechanism called systemic vascular resistance. This is how blood pressure is restored but at the same time angiotensin 2 causes the activation of adrenal cortex to release aldosterone. Aldosterone <coughs> is a chemical when it reaches to kidney it increases reabsorption of sodium and this increased sodium causes reabsorption of more water by the mechanism of facultative reabsorption. When there is more ions, that is sodium, there is more water and this leads to again increase in body fluid which will lead to increase in blood volume followed by increase in blood pressure, that is restoration of blood pressure will be observed. At the same time, aldosterone also causes increased secretion of potassium and hydrogen ions. Hydrogen ions are reabsorbed, I mean secreted more when there is aldosterone in the blood. This leads to balance of potassium ions and uh, <clears throat> there is also a balance of pH by secretion of H ions in the urine. It means when there is excessive H ions in the body or there is excessive potassium ions, there is signal from the body to release aldosterone. So these two hormones, aldosterone and the, I mean, enzyme renin and hormone aldosterone play crucial role in restoring increase or decrease blood pressure. The third important hormone is antidiuretic hormone, ADH, synonymous with vasopressin. Vasopressin or ADH is, is, is uh, similar in action to aldosterone because it also causes vasoconstriction. The main job of ADH is to, in, to increase the reabsorption of water. It, it acts against diuretics. We know diuretics are the agents which causes more secretion or frequent urination. Having dilute urine, it means uh, there is more water in the urine compared to ions. Now, how ADH work in increasing water level in the body or how it uh, it, it responds to the the activation of thirst center in, in brain by the osmoreceptor. Simply, ADH causes more reabsorption of water. It does it by by inserting aquaporin. It is a ch aquaporin. It is a type of uh, I mean, they are water channel proteins called aquaporin 2. When they are inserted in the in the principal cell, these cells become more permeable to water. 
and ultimately there is more reabsorption of water which will lead to the condition reversal to the dehydration when there is um, normal blood pressure immediately the level of vasopressin in blood uh, comes to zero and there and and this happens by the mechanism of endocytosis the all the adh goes back to the blood this is how adh acts on the condition of dehydration so in nutshell renin angiotensin 2 aldosterone and adh they all work together depending on the body's need to restore decreased blood blood pressure decreased body fluid volume and decrease water level and these all lead to uh, restoration of blood osmolarity because initially when there is dehydration there is increased blood osmolarity i mean to say there is more ions in blood compared to water so by all this mechanism there will be restorage of the blood osmolarity i mean to say blood osmolarity will be will be decrease so they are the chemicals playing important role in maintaining blood pressure so you will come to know that uh, when you will read about uh, about uh, heart in cardiovascular system or when you will uh, read about the uh, urinary system or when you will read about the hormones in uh, endocrine system or when you will read in the chapter how blood how bp is controlled or how blood body fluid volumes are maintained in the chapter fluid electrolyte balance everywhere you will come to know about this common system so this this uh, this working style of renin angiotensinogen and aldosterone is called renin angiotensinogen aldosterone system ras very crucial system in body to maintain blood pressure that's all thank you before i log out wish you all the luck signing out amit gangwal thank you